Hi, book buddies, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about camping, and our first book is called The Camping Trip by Jennifer K. Mann, and it's published by Candlewick Press. My Aunt Jackie invited me to go camping with her and my cousin Samantha this weekend, and my dad said yes. I've never been camping before, but I know I will love it. I got a sleeping bag and a new flashlight, and Dad and I made some trail mix just for camping. Aunt Jackie sent a list of things to pack. Hat, sneakers, sleeping bag, pillow, sunblock, water bottle, flashlight, underwear, backpack, swimsuit, shorts, foxy, sunglasses, pajamas, towel, bandages, t-shirt, sweatshirt, socks, swim mask, camera, comic books, whistle, and trail mix. I'm not sure it's all going to fit. I'm ready. So just a few things to eat. Then I wait and wait. Finally, they're here. Hi, Aunt Jackie. Hi, Samantha. Hello, Ernestine. Bye, Dad. Love you, E. I hope Dad doesn't miss me too much. It's a long drive to Cedar Tree Campground. We look at comic books. We play Cat's Cradle. We stare out the window. And we sing along with the radio. Finally, we're here. It's quiet and big. It smells like trees and fire and dirt. Isn't that pretty? You need a lot of stuff to go camping, so it takes a long time to unpack. Samantha and I decide to set up the tent. I build forts all the time at home, so this should be easy. There they go. Uh-oh. It's not one bit easy. I'm sweating. Me too. Let's swim. Okay. I love swimming at the Y. I can touch the bottom of the pool. And here she's getting ready. She's got her swim mask. <gasps> Look, she can see the fish. Uh, there are fish in here. Don't worry, Ernestine. The fish won't bite. I promise. That's okay. I'll just watch you swim. When Samantha finally was done swimming, we ate lunch. Let's go on a hike. I love to hike. My dad says hiking is just walking, but in nature instead of in the city. And I walk to school every day. Here's what I need to go hiking. Backpack, hat, sunglasses, whistle, camera, water bottle, sunblock, granola bar, trail mix, apple raisins, leftover chips, cheese sticks, peanut butter crackers, cookies, bandages, and of course, boxes. There are a lot more hills here than on my way to school. That's a pretty steep hill. My feet are tired already. Maybe I brought too much stuff. I think I need a water break. When we finally stop, I eat a lot so my backpack will be lighter on the way back. This is the biggest tree ever. It's huge. Don't slip, I won't. I'm walking along the log. It's a banana slug. There's so much to explore. It's way easier to hike downhill. When we get back to the campsite, Samantha and I set up the campfire. What's for dinner? Tofu hot dogs and broccoli salad. My favorites. Uh-oh, I don't know that Ernestine thinks so. Tofu hot dogs are not my favorite, but I'm really hungry. This broccoli salad is good. Wait till you try s'mores. They're scrumptious. This is what you need for s'mores. Marshmallow graham crackers, chocolate, a marshmallow roasting fork. Mine is perfect. Mine's on fire. First, you roast your marshmallow over a campfire. Then you make a sandwich. Graham cracker, marshmallow, and chocolate, and another graham cracker. And then you eat it. S'mores are scrumptious. Look at her face. Before we know it, night is all around us. I crawl into my sleeping bag and we read with light from Aunt Jackie's lantern until she says it's time to sleep. Good night, girls. Good night. Good night, Mom. Good night, Ernestine. Two seconds later, Aunt Jackie and Samantha are snoring, but I can't sleep. I'm boiling. I need to get my socks off. Where's my water bottle? Where's Foxy? 
I am freezing. Is anybody else awake? Is dad awake? Aunt Jackie, can I call my dad? Aunt Jackie lets me use her phone, but there's no reception. I want to go home. Let's go look at the stars. It's really dark. Don't be scared, Ernestine. Look, a shooting star. Wow, make a wish, girls. Yeah, I think I'm ready to go to sleep now, Aunt Jackie. When I wake up in the morning, the tent is warm and bright. Aunt Jackie and Samantha are already eating breakfast. These are the best pancakes ever. Want to swim? Last chance. Um, okay. We can hold hands and jump in together. That should scare away the fish. One, two, three, jump! We swim and swim. Race you, okay, and swim. Time to pack up, girls. The fish don't bite me once. Packing up is even harder than unpacking. Oops, she popped her in the head. When we finally get our stuff in the car, it takes all three of us to close the back. Goodbye, Cedar Tree Campground. I can't wait to come back next year. Me too. Bye. It's a long drive back home. We eat the rest of the trail mix. We stare out the window. We sleep. We stare out the window some more. Hi, Dad. Bye, Samantha. Thank you, Aunt Jackie. I had the best time. Maybe we can have a sleepover next weekend. I think Dad missed me. Dad, have you ever tried s'mores? Okay, book buddies, it's time for us to make our own s'mores. You ready? Let's get up. You put your marshmallow in, you put your marshmallow out, you put your marshmallow in, and you cook it till it's brown. You do the campfire pokey, and you pop it in your mouth. That's what it's all about. Yum! You put your apple in, you put your apple out, you put your apple in, and you cook it till it's brown. You do the campfire pokey, and you pop it in your mouth. Oh. That's what it's all about. Yum! You put your hot dog in, you put your hot dog out, you put your hot dog in, and you cook it till it's brown. You do the campfire pokey and you pop it in your mouth. Um, that's what it's all about. Yum! You put your popcorn in, you put your popcorn out, you put your popcorn in and you cook it till it's brown. You do the campfire pokey and you pop it in your mouth. That's what it's all about. Yum! Froggy Goes to Camp by Jonathan London and published by Viking Children's Press. It was summer. Froggy woke up and jumped on his bed. Boing, boing, boing. He was so excited, he bumped his head on the ceiling, bonk, and fell down. Froggy, called his father. What? Up and at him. Today's the day you go to camp run amok. Froggy hopped out of bed and got dressed. Zap, zip, zoop, zup, zut, 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 and flopped into the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. Have you got everything, asked his mother. Of course, said Froggy. Let's go, said Dad. And off they went. Oh no, cried Froggy an hour later. I forgot my sleeping bag. Oh, Froggy, groaned Dad and turned the car around. Two hours later, oh no, cried Froggy. I forgot my bathing suit. Oh, Froggy, groaned Dad and turned the car around. By the time they got to Camp Runamuck, it was sunset. I don't know anybody here, cried Froggy. I want to go home. 
Come meet your bunkmates, dear, said Mom. Welcome to Camp Runamuck, said Jordan, his counselor, and led them to Froggy's cabin. It was named Wildcats, but his bunkmates were the two toad tw twins and an otter named Yasha. Yasha was nice. He let Froggy have the top bunk. Look, said Mom, there's your principal, Mr. Mugwort. He's the camp director. Great, said Froggy, not. By the time his parents waved goodbye, the moon was rising over Lake Winnemucca. At sunrise, a bugle blasted. Da da ta da ta da. Last one up, said Yasha, gets tickled with a feather duster. Froggy was the last one up. <laughs> Welcome, campers, announced Mr. Mugwort. Now, listen up. Today is your swim test. Tomorrow, swimmers will race to the raft on the lake at the crack of dawn. But now it was time for breakfast. Froggy had KP duty, kitchen patrol, washing dishes, preparing veggies and flies, and serving. When he served Mr. Mugwort, the two fried eggs slid off right on Mr. Mugwort's head, splat! Oops, said Froggy. Froggy passed the swim test, of course. Later, he had archery. He pulled the bow, aimed, and let go, toing, and hit Mr. Mugwort's bottom, Blap! Oops, said Froggy. On Tuesday, the bugle blasted, da 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 and Froggy flopped down to the lake, flop, 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 ready to race. Froggy, called Mr. Mugwort, what? You forgot your bathing suit. Froggy looked down. Oops, he was wearing his boxers. Everybody laughed, even Mr. Mugwort. On Wednesday, they went on a big hike around Lake Winnemucca. It got so hot that Froggy said, let's jump in the lake with all our clothes on. Jordan the counselor did a swan dive. Yasha did a jackknife. And Froggy did a cannonball. Splash! and got Mr. Mugwort all wet. On Thursday in the dining hall, the Toad Twins yelled, food fight, food fight, and everybody joined in. Froggy threw a banana, but Yasha ducked, and it smeared across Mr. Mugwort's shirt, smoosh. Mr. Mugwort was not a happy camper. On Friday, Mr. Mugwort asked, who knows how to paddle a kayak? He was also the kayak instructor. I do, I do, cried Froggy. Are you sure? Yep, Froggy put on a life jacket and sat in the front. Mr. Mugwort pushed off and climbed in. Uh-oh, Froggy held the kayak paddle like a canoe paddle and dug in. Yikes, and over they went, splash. Oops, spluttered Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Mr. Mugwort glared at him, then laughed and hollered, water fight, water fight, and he handed out squirt guns. And they had the wildest water fight in Camp Runamuck history. Splish, splosh, sploosh. And that last night, they stargazed, told scary stories around the bonfire, and sang camp songs like, dear mama duck, dear papa duck, it's fun here at Camp Runamuck. When Froggy's family came in the morning, Mom said, How was camp, Froggy? Great! I hit Mr. Mugwort with an arrow, smooshed him with a banana, and capsized our kayak. Hmm, uh, that's nice, dear. And Froggy sang, Beans, beans, the musical fruit, the more you eat, the more you toot, all the way home. Okay, book buddies, it's time for our goodbye rhyme, so everybody stand up. You ready? Okay. Book buddies, book buddies, turn around. Book buddies, book buddies, touch the ground. Book buddies, book buddies, tap your toes. Book buddies, book buddies, row, row, row your boat. Book buddies, book buddies, jump up high. Book buddies, book buddies, touch the sky. Book buddies, book buddies, don't you giggle. 
I hear you. No giggling. Book buddies, book buddies. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Book buddies, book buddies. Time to fly. Book buddies, book buddies. Wave goodbye. Bye. See you next time.